What's happening, podcasters? My name is Sebastian Ross, and I help marketers and entrepreneurs just like you launch successful podcasts. In this video, I'm going to give you four, that's right, count them, four imperative tips that you must know when starting a podcast, whether it's in 2020 or 2021, or I think you get where I'm going with that. Let's get started. So the year is currently 2020, and it just so happens there has never been a more exciting time to be able to start a podcast. There's also never been an easier time to start a podcast. Heck, we're living in this voice era right now where it's voice, 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 voice. We've got podcasts, we've got Alexa, we've got Google, we've got speak into our car and speak things into existence. Frictionless environments, that's what the voice era is providing for all of us. Who doesn't want more, less, less friction, not more, in their life. Podcasting allows for that. It allows you as a brand or an individual to share your truth and your message through a value-added package piece of content called a podcast episode. The number one thing that you need to know and remember when starting a podcast in 2020 or 2021 or 2022, psst, I recommend that you do it in 2020. The number one thing that you need to do is ask yourself, why? Why am I starting a podcast? I always say if you're starting a podcast to make a million dollars, well, those are probably not the best intentions right out of the gate. If you're starting a podcast to provide as much valuable as you, information as you possibly can to your community, well, you're on the right track then. So first of all, first tip, figure out your why. Why are you starting a podcast and how in the world are you going to provide value to your audience by doing so? The second tip, is to focus on crafting and telling your story with as much value add packed into that content as possible. Not really sure what I was doing with my hands just now because that has nothing to do with adding value to a podcast, but it looks like something I should have been doing on camera. Okay, back to figuring out what your value proposition is. What are you gonna talk about? How are you gonna provide value to your audience? So. We've got why are you starting a podcast. Number two, what kind of value can I package up and provide to this community? And number three, let's not forget about consistency. Consistency is the name of the game. Is it an episode every week? Is it an episode every two weeks? Is it an episode once a month? Figure out what that schedule looks like and absolutely commit to that schedule. All right, the fourth and final tip when starting a podcast in 2020 and beyond is figuring out what you can do to start your podcast, provide value, extract your why, build a community, and then how does your show weave into your brand? Is it a lead generation tool? Is it a door opening tool because you meet people you wouldn't ordinarily meet if you cold called them because you're interviewing them? You wanna figure out how your show is going to weave into your business and brand. Now, if this is just a hobby, well, by all means, keep sharing your truth, recording podcast episodes, and being consistent. But if you're a business, as with anything, there's gotta be a way to monetize some things. Sometimes you'll never monetize your podcast. That's entirely up to you. Sometimes you will. That's a completely different episode regarding making money with a podcast. But figure out how it weaves into the structure of your brand and the culture of your brand. Maybe you've got a large brand, lots of employees, and you're starting an internal podcast to communicate with people uh, in addition to your podcast. Or your main podcast is really just a sales tool to allow you to generate interest from people that listen to your show, that follow you and interact with you and your podcast and your brand. Well, I hope you're leaving this video knowing at least one or two things that you didn't know when you press play about starting your podcast in this brand new year and brand new decade. Sorry if you're watching this a couple years from now. Hey, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This way you'll get all kinds of nifty updates as new videos become available. If you've got questions about podcasting, about this video, or anything pertaining to the podcast universe, please drop a comment below. I respond to each and every one of you lovely people. I'll see you next time.